Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Bokipai users, great to have you back. Today, we are exploring Bokipai for creating invoices in 2024. Bokipai is known for its simplicity and power, and I will show you how to make the most of it. So guys, join me in this video as we will discover this incredible tool. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys is to head up to bogepie.com by clicking on the first link that will appear to you in the search engine. Then here we are as you can see, next thing is to sign up. So I'm going here to sign in using my Gmail account to make it faster for us to discover the platform. So there we go and now I'm gonna be signed in. So. The first thing is to add your company name. Let's add here Titan LTD. Click on continue. The business type, let's say for example it is art photography and the currency is going to be USD. There we go and then confirm again. Here put your first name, let's name it for example Alvaro and then let's click on continue and a user with the given email address is already registered so this is just as begin for you you could simply just uh, redo the same thing in case you had already an account uh, you simply have to log in using your email address so here i'm just gonna log in etc usd and i'm gonna just log into my account and be right back so here i am guys and now i am on the platform so to create any kind of invoice this it is very simple so you just have to go and click on create invoice and as you can see here we have this platform or this tool where we can literally add everything so the first thing is to select customer now we don't have a customer so we have to create one click on create customer and right here simply you have to fulfill these informations first thing is to add the name let's name it Alejandro and for others you can simply uh, add it by your own self so you can add all the information but for now we don't really need that for this tutorial so let's save and here it is now let's simply uh, ignore this part of this header and go to the core of the actual invoice we are going to go back for it so don't worry about that now here we have to add the item that we have sold to Alejandro so simply click on create a new item and here let's add an item name for us let's consider ourselves that we are selling chocolate bars so I'm going to write here chocolate bar and let's add a price which is let's say eight dollars for the chocolate bar and unit type uh, just none and let's save it so here this is chocolate bar uh, the price is eight and let's say that Alejandro has ordered two two thousand of this chocolate bar so here we have two thousand the price is eight and this is the total that he asked for now here there is the tax which we are, I will simply edit task type so tax code I'm going to change the name to government tax and the ratio is gonna be 20 so 20% uh, save and there we go so this is basically the amount of the chocolate bar that he has bought from us which is 16k so it is, here it is the subtotal which is 16k plus the government tax which is around 20% that comes up to $3,200 which comes to a total of $19k uh, $200 that the actual client has to pay for us now you can add uh, other products by simply clicking here and adding new products you can also add discount so for example uh, I'm going to add here uh, discount and shipping so let's go here for example here I'm going to add uh, a fixed cost for the shipping cost so here we go non taxable and the discount let's add the percentage which is uh, let's add the two percent discount so let's click on done and here it is so we have a discount of three hundred and twenty dollars but after taxes it comes up to three uh, with the taxes it comes to 3k 136 and for the shipping it is 500 so the total is 
19k316 dollar now we can leave a note if you wanted to and we can take a photo of the package that we have of the chocolate bars and send it right here by dropping the uh, picture and adding a title and a description that explains uh, everything about the picture and why we sent it now for the header we have here a couple of information that are very 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 important the first thing is the invoice here it is basically the title of the invoice so make sure to name it something for example invoice and here put the purchase order number so i'm going to for example here i'm going to add for example a001 for example here this is basically just a reference to code which is stands for alejandro first invoice that i have created so a stands for alejandro and 001 stands for him basically and for invoice i really like to add something like that which is 24 which stands for the year and basically uh, add other four zeros and simply change the last digit to be one which is the number of the invoice that we have created each time we are making a new invoice we are going to add it up by one so we can have a track of what we are doing exactly in case you were using another platform for example let's say i was using quickbooks instead of bookipy then i'm going to look into my quickbook account check the latest invoice that i have created and simply click here for example let's say they have 200 invoices in my quickbook accounts so here i'm just going to add 201 it is very easy very simple so we can make some kind of uh, track in our invoices and also here there is two important things the date where we have issued the invoice which is basically here and the due date this is very important guys the due date is the date where the client has to pay you in case you have not chosen the correct day you might really be losing money why because sometimes you will mistakenly choose the client to pay you like uh, three months like later than the date that you are actually deciding and legally by the document you, that you have sent to him well it is your problem it is your mistake you made a mistake and the client has no uh, problem now you have to wait extra three months to actually get paid so always make sure to read your document and always make sure that the due date is actually and the correct date that you have chosen after you finish with that choose if you want to actually add the signature or not and finally click on save and the invoice has been created so now you can simply just click here to send it you have to choose to whom and here uh, if you want to send yourself a copy and this is basically it it is very simple very straightforward process nothing complicated about it at all so yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial